Hey Capricorn, this is going to be a general love reading for mid-January to the end of January 2022. It's going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Capricorn. And it is general, so it's not going to be for everybody's situation. But if you'd like a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. Also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed in general readings. And this could be for your own self or for somebody you're cross-watching for. So let's see, Capricorn, what is happening for you, second half of January 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay, so starting off the reading, we have the Eight of Cups crossed by the Empress. Okay, so it feels like... Either somebody has walked away from a situation or somebody is trying to walk away from a situation or connection. And either way, it's feeling a little bit difficult for this person to really, you know, feel like they are embodying their own self throughout this process. Um, it could be you, it could be the other person, but I mostly feel like it's you. Let's see the recent past. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, so there was a commitment here. There was a commitment here and it could be that you're trying to walk away from this but having maybe a little bit of a difficult time finding yourself through that let's see your energy we have the queen of wands and the four of pentacles mm. You are feeling confident though that's the thing i do see confidence here but at the same time At the same time, I feel like you're having a little bit of a hard time fully um, releasing this. It's like you're still holding on to this connection on some level. Let's see for them. The Six of Wands and the Four of Wands. Well, this person seems pretty determined to have this commitment with you. We'll see more when we clarify. Let's see what is coming up in the near future. We have the Emperor, and the message for you is the star. Okay, some of you might be dealing with an Aries. Um, we also do have Aquarius showing up, but I am getting pretty strong. Aries, or any fire sign for that matter, but of course it could be any, any sign that you're dealing with. Um, Somebody's taking charge here. Somebody's taking charge here, and I feel like things are moving in a way that they are destined to. There's wish fulfillment here that is possible for you. Let's clarify. Let's see. Let's see, Eight of Cups with the Empress. Queen of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I feel like you are, if this is you, it's like you're determined to take a new path here. You're trying to make some kind of a shift. Um, and the shift is revolving you pulling away from this connection, keeping your distance. I feel like it's... Um, a lot about respect here, self-respect. Like it could be that you are having like this new awareness of what it is that you deserve or um, just new feelings around self-respect, which is causing you to want to walk away from this connection. But it, it doesn't mean that it makes it any easier. It's almost like you're trying to remind yourself continually, continuously of what it is that you deserve in order to help you to make this decision. And it's difficult because it's a shift. And it's not only a shift in the material world as in, you know, walking away from a connection in some way, but it's also like the shift of how you feel about yourself and really embodying this new sense of self-respect that you have for yourself. 
Let's see his Ten of Pentacles in the recent past. The Ten of Swords and the Knight of Wands. Yeah, there's been some, uh, there's either been some kind of a betrayal and it is kind of coming in in that way. Um, maybe somebody was inconsistent, maybe somebody was a little bit of a player, or maybe, maybe somebody was unfaithful. All right, with the Knight of Wands and then the Ten of Swords, it's like this created a very painful ending to a situation where if it wasn't a commitment, it felt like the potential for a very serious commitment was there. Let's see the Queen of Wands for you. Okay, so we have the Eight of Wands, the Eight of Swords, and the Star. Okay, it feels like you actually want to... There's this very strong desire to communicate with this person, or if not to actually communicate. Um, kind of like you would want them to know what, what you deserve, or you would want them to know about this self-respect that you have and that they should respect you or that that's just what you deserve, basically. And it, it almost feels like you wanting that, it, it creates some kind of anxiety for you. Like it, it might keep you trapped in your head thinking about it. Like why doesn't this person um, see what you are worth or at least treat you in the way that you deserve? So it does feel like you you would like want them to know this or something. There's something here about yourself that it's like you would want them to either find out or to know or to understand. But that kind of keeps you a little bit um, stuck in thinking thinking mode about this. Let's see the Four of Pentacles. I, you know what? And it actually feels like that's what's kind of, that might be what's blocking you. Okay, so for the Four of Pentacles, we have the Strength card and the Three of Swords. Yeah, because you've been hurt, right? There's been a lot of there's been a lot of pain here, um, and it does feel like you're you're still kind of holding on to that to that pain or that betrayal or whatever it was. You're trying to be strong through it, and you are you are gaining that strength. But I feel like what the message for you here is to try to release the desire for the other person to fully understand. Maybe they will at some point, but it's like you you wanting that, it's keeping you from being able to release this pain. It's like, you know what, they don't have to understand. And it might even be bothering you that, you know, certain things shouldn't even have to be explained. You know, like if you have to explain it, well, then it like loses its value. And that could be another thing that is, you know, creating like some kind of an annoyance or a frustration for you. But again, I do see you being strong and moving through this. So just to point out, we do have Aquarius as well as Leo on the table. Okay, let's see for them. Let's see the Six of Wands. All right, we have the Page of Wands and we have the Ten of Wands. This person, okay, they're, they're really wanting this. They're really wanting this. I do feel like ego might get in their way a little bit, but it's like they're really looking towards you in a very eager type of a way, wanting to move towards you. I actually feel like they are, like they are taking certain steps because they're feeling this, um, 
they're feeling a lot of heaviness or like they're carrying this load from whatever it is that happened in the past. And it's like they're wanting to make up for it, but I'm not seeing much emotion behind it, to be honest with you. I see it more of, yeah, you know, I'm going to win Capricorn back. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm enthusiastic about doing so. And re release all of this that happened in the past, but I feel like they're very, very, like, almost like too confident about it. No, let's see. Let's see the four ones. Four of wands again, the seven of swords and the seven of wands. Hmm. Yeah, I, first of all, like, can I just say that they are all wands, like everything in their energy? So definitely let me know if you're dealing with a fire sign. Um, oh, except for the Seven of Swords. Um, yeah, it feels like this person is trying to move towards you, but because they do want this with you, they do want this connection, they want... They just want this with you. Um, but they're doing it in a way where I feel like it's not it's not touching you like it's not it's not in a way where it is helping you to feel like okay yes i can forgive them or yes you know i can be with them yes you know things have been made right yes you're helping me you know to um deal with whatever this pain is that that has been created here and i feel like that's the case because they're coming in with, either with like overconfidence like they're just like taking you for granted or just you know so sure that yeah you should forgive them or that they can win you back or it's like they're they're coming in with a block like not really opening up emotionally not really showing you their heart not th like they just don't come across as sincere which they may or may not be. It's it's really not showing up. What I do see though is that they really want this back with you. But it's like they have this defensiveness about them, like they're wanting to either excuse themselves or defend themselves and just, you know, um, expecting that you're just going to be okay with that and take them back. I don't know, let's see. Let's see the Emperor for what is coming up. Six of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, and the Six of Cups. Okay, so I do see some emotions here, finally. <laughs> All right, with the Queen of Cups and the Six of Cups. So it does feel like, you know, th this person is initially um, coming in a little bit blocked, right? Having their guard up, having their defenses up. I feel like in the near future, like that might shift a little bit. Um, I don't know if that's actually you here, you know, just being more, being open emotionally, like you expressing your emotions and that kind of shifting things. Because um, with the Emperor, I don't know, I still feel like they, they, they still have like this confidence about them or this like, I would even say arrogance a little bit, but it feels like it's coming more into balance more into balance and them opening up more from the emotional um, side of them. But I feel like that's only going to happen because, and if, you don't accept this superficial type of trying to make up. Right? If you don't accept this um, having their guard up, being defensive. Because if you do, well then it's just going to continue in that way. So yeah, underneath all of this, I feel like this is a front, there are, there are emotions, okay? We have this Queen of Cups, we have the Six of Cups. Right, let's see the star. And do keep in mind, I mean, this is just meant to be for like a couple weeks. It's not be forever and ever. 
It could just be a phase for some of you. Um, it really depends. Okay, so clarifying the star, we have the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Wow. <laughs> okay, this is like so perfect, so beautiful. This is talking about wish fulfillment, um, things moving in the direction of commitment, somebody being committed, being mature, and love, basically. Like a completion of love here. The ultimate fulfillment, love, happiness, like everything you could have ever dreamed for. I don't know if it's a, if it's with this person. Again, it's going to be different for everybody, but this is the message for, for you from spirit, okay, that this is definitely here. Um, I feel like it's aligned with you, this energy, with the star. And you can have this, and it's actually, you know, in your in your path, in your trajectory here. So yeah, you know, do keep that in mind, no matter how difficult things can seem now. It's so like spirit is just giving you this confirmation here. You are meant to have this, this love that's going to be everything you've ever wished for. All right, so let's see. Capricorn, final message for you if this resonated. All right, and we have the full moon in Capricorn. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Yeah, hopefully sooner rather than later. All right, Capricorn, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.